Hello and welcome back to the den. The bluebells are out, it's looking beautiful. It's also looking beautiful in here. This is my new Coronet Herald lathe from Record Power. I will talk about the lathe in some upcoming videos, but for today, let's just get on with this build. I started off by drawing a template for what I'm making. A cook sir cup. Cook sir. Thought if I said it with a Scandinavian-ish accent it might sound better, I'm not sure it does. So the template was for a full height cup but I'm not familiar enough with hollowing yet to be comfortable with cutting that deeply so I decided to make more of a Kukska inspired scoop. Now traditionally a person is supposed to carve their own cup, I might get someone else to make mine next time, and they're typically hand carved from birch. So of course I made mine with witch elm, turned it on the lathe and bandsaw and belt sander. You saw me cut the side profile first, and then you saw me take the cutout section back into place. This I'm hoping will support the thinner handle section when I cut the remainder of the template out. There you go, it's looking all cup-like now, just time to pop it over onto the lathe. Here we go. See here that the elm had a nasty split in the bottom section, which is why I eventually decided to stick a waste block onto the bottom, rather than trying to make a tenon from the actual cut body. I was worried that the crack would just give, and it would give way and the project would be lost. So I filled the crack with CA glue and I crossed everything. So far so good, you can just see me now marking out the area I want to hollow. It was not ideal because the waste block I stuck on wasn't perfectly centred, so I ended up with a rim that wasn't perfectly centred to the cutout shape. But if you watch my videos you know already that I don't really have much time to practice, so what you see is me learning on the job. It's the first time usually that I create the things that you see. You see me making the mistakes, you see the project emerging and you see me learning in real time right in front of your very eyes. I won't say that this part wasn't scary, having the handle flying round when you're a novice turner and haven't hollowed anything really before, it was a little bit hairy, um, nothing flew off in this slow-mo shot, it looks like it's about to, but it doesn't. Now I see people when they're hollowing deep forms, they turn their tool rest into the hollow they've created uh, to help them to get deeper into the bowl. I'm hoping this doesn't go wrong. Bringing my carbide up, tentatively cutting, and it's fine. What did you expect? Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if you're only watching this video to see if something terrible happens. It might. Still watching? Ah, it's fine. Got through to the sanding stage, doing the usual thing, working my way up through the grits until I was happy with the finish. Actually, it was really quite nice. Although I didn't go as deeply as I dared, it did form a nice hollow and I was pretty happy with it. Oh, super professional camera work there. Back of the headshot. I'm just over at the mini belt sander working on the outer profile of the cup. I really enjoyed this part of the process. I do like this as a machine, but I have to say this is the one that bit me just before Christmas. I've forgiven it because it happens to be one of my favourite tools in the workshop right now and you could say I have a newfound respect for it. Here I'm pointing out the waste block, I took it outside, chopped it off on the bandsaw and then simply went over the outside edge with some uh, fine grit sandpapers and produced a finish I was quite happy with. Foxy seems happy too.
That mineral oil did a great job, and of course it's food safe. I'm not sure what I'll use the cup for yet, but we'll see. So that's the end of the cup project itself, but I went on to try my new branding iron. I ordered the iron from uh, Smelly Cat Creations, who's online, he has a profile on YouTube and an Instagram account, so I'll pop the links to his social media stuff in the usual place. You know, in all the bump at the bottom of the video. I do need some more practice with this thing, but I'm really happy with the results so far. I do think I probably shouldn't have put the mineral oil on first, I probably should have popped that on after I'd done the branding, but like I said, just a tiny bit more practice required. Now, turns out that these Kukska mini scoops are really great for picking up boxes. I mean, look, it fits perfectly. Look after yourselves out there, stay safe in your workshops, and most of all, stay foxy. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.